stuff like this always end up happening to me like really <laughs> so, good morning you guys welcome to a new vlog sorry for the weird angle but i really honestly just did not feel like getting out my tripod it's in the other room because i was making reels and tiktoks in youtube shorts last night so yeah let's just over there in the other bathroom but right now i'm making eggs uh the boys have already eaten their breakfast lj is the only one who's still eating because he got seconds but the other two boys are just basically sitting and waiting until it's time to go i'm supposed to be leaving the house within the next five minutes um because i'd like to try to get them to school at eight o'clock on the dot just so they have time to get to class within like a reasonable amount of time and if they want to talk to friends or something or go eat breakfast again they can because i know they do that sometimes are you done okay um yeah i just like to give them enough time rather than getting them there right at 8 30 as soon as they have to be in class so what's up huh um no you guys can get your backpack and stuff because it's really about time to go but stop scratching your shirt yeah I i'd rather give them extra time to just do whatever they want to do when they get to school and even though i do feed them breakfast and everything at home they still have the option to go to school and eat something else if they want to just as well. Or if they want to skip breakfast at home one day and they only want to go eat the school breakfast, um, they can do that. So, yeah, that's why I like people to do it like at 8 o'clock in the dark. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to finish making my eggs and get ready to head out. I just wanted to open the vlog, check in with you guys. So I will talk to you guys later when I'm doing something else. Hey, y'all. I'm back again, and it's later in the day. Um, I just picked up the boys from school about two hours ago, and now we're about to head to the grocery store. When I first picked them up from school, we stopped by the park, and I just let them play for like an hour and a half or so. And then we came home just to like cool down, drink some more, to get a couple snacks and all that. And now we're about to head to the grocery store, like I just said, because I have decided I just don't feel like cooking tonight. I just, I don't. <sighs> Now, me being the mom I am, I try to cook for them every single night just because I feel like home-cooked meals are better than, like, store-bought meals or fast food or, like, TV dinners, but I just don't feel like it tonight. So, that being said, I'm about to go to Publix, and then I'm going to go ahead and just let them... Sorry, it's dark. I'm walking out the door. Um, just let them pick out their own little TV dinners because I just I don't feel like it, so... That's what we're doing right now. I'm getting a basket. Go, keep walking. So we're looking for the TV dinners and LJ found this. He thought it was hot wings. And I've been looking for this everywhere. So I'm gonna get it. Like, why are you riding a bike in the road when there's a sidewalk? Hey y'all, so I'm about to try this little meal that I got from Publix. It says it's chicken tiki marsala. It's Indian food. It's by Deep Indian Kitchen and I've never tried Indian food before so I'm kind of excited to see what it tastes like. Um, I do have plans to go to an Indian restaurant pretty soon here but I saw this in Publix so I had to try it. So let's eat it. So this is how it looks straight out of the packet. Um, as you can see I punctured it three times because that's what it says on the little box and it says microwave it for three minutes stir it and then microwave it again for a minute and a half so i'm about to do that and i'll be back as soon as it's done sorry for the weird angle i'm not going to get my tripod i'm just not but this is actually really good y'all the best description i can give y'all for it is that it tastes like curry and tomato somehow like mixed together it's really really good it's not spicy um I am excited to go to the actual Indian restaurant to try it like authentically and not frozen because this is real good. So I have no doubt in my mind that trying it from the Indian restaurant is going to be amazing.
especially with the naan bread. This did not come with naan bread, but mm, I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. So I just dropped off the boys to school and it's like 8.30 in the morning and I just left Publix. First of all, I went back to the store and got some more of the Indian food that I tried last night. But I did not only get the chicken tiki masala. <laughs> and I'm making an emphasis on chicken tiki masala because apparently on TikTok I said marsala. And if I said it on TikTok wrong, I know I said it to you guys wrong. I just know that I did. So, huh. excuse me. Excuse me. But like I told you guys before, I've never had any type of Indian food before. So I'm not familiar with any of the names. And I also want to tell you guys this. The plan was to get up this morning and go to the Indian restaurant that's near me. But I'm, I really don't want to go by myself. I don't know. I just... When reading the menu of the place that I'm thinking about going, I really got anxiety. And I don't know why, but my heart started being fast. And it just, I think I got like overwhelmed trying to read it. And reason being is because I've never tried that kind of food. I don't want to go in there mispronouncing things, saying it wrong and everything else. So the plan is to go with KT, but he is out of town until Sunday morning. And it's currently, is it Wednesday or Thursday? I think today is Wednesday. I yeah today's wednesday because tomorrow's thursday and then there's no school friday so yeah today's wednesday he won't be back until sunday so whenever he gets back in town the plan is to go to the restaurant with him because i think it'll just be less anxiety on my part to actually go with someone rather than going by myself and it's crazy that I say that because y'all know I'm quick to get up and go to a restaurant by myself. I don't care to go out to eat by myself or to a bar by myself or to a lounge by myself. I don't care to go anywhere by myself. But when it's somewhere that's like a completely different culture, I just feel like because of how complicated the names are of the menu, like the items on the menu and stuff, I just want to have somebody else with me. So yeah, when he gets back in town, I will be going to the authentic Indian restaurant to try some of the real stuff. Yeah. But in the meantime, I got some more. So I got the same one from yesterday that you already saw me try. I also got the garlic nan to go with it. Non nan. It's garlic, garlic bread. And then I got the samosas. They are chickpea masala is what it says. And then it comes with this green sauce. So that is going to be my breakfast this morning because I've been thinking about this since last night when I had the first little batch of this right here. And this was bomb, so I really hope that everything else is really good with it. I'm excited to go and try it. And then I also got a bottle of wine because why not? Um, I don't know if I mention it any time in the vlog, but this entire week I'm taking off since... KT is out of town as well as the boys grandparents are out of town so yeah I just I have no work this entire week which is perfectly fine with me it gives me time to spend one-on-one -on -one time with the boys and all that good stuff we played a bunch of board games yesterday um we also played Mancala Uno and there's a hurricane coming so there's a possibility that school will be out tomorrow and then school is already out on Friday because Veterans Day. Um, I'm low-key hoping that there's no school tomorrow, to be completely real. Because, like I said, I'm off this entire week. And usually when I have to work, there's a few days of the week that the boys go to their grandparents' house. And I love them going to their grandparents' house. Don't get me wrong, but that is less time that I have to, like, spend with them and do things with them directly. Um... So yeah, being that I have, so yeah, being that I have this entire week off, I just feel like if they do have school off on Thursday and Friday, that'll give me much more time to like spend with them directly. Because obviously, elementary school gets out kind of late. I I pick them up at like three thirty, and we get home by like four, I would say. And 
I try to take them to the park, let them run around, burn some energy and all that stuff. Then we get home, we get into homework. Then after that, it's bath time and dinner. Like there's not a lot of like direct time to spend with them. So yeah. But yeah guys, I'm actually about to pull into traffic and I don't wanna be talking to the phone on the camera when I get into traffic, especially because I don't have my tripod up. Guys, it's been months and I was been supposed to go and get a tripod. Like I really should go and do that but I just haven't. I'll talk to y'all later. This is the oh, okay. I'm literally picking the boys up from school and forgot to put the little okay, name on Okay, y'all. Okay, no, there's one more. There's one I'm more. Right behind right. you. Mommy, I'm just in Baby, just sit. Let him sit. Thank you. Okay, you guys have a good night. You too. Oh my God, so much chaos as they're getting in. Hey y'all, so I am doing laundry right now. I've had to deal with mommy stuff since picking them up from school. For whatever the reason, these boys think that they have to argue about every little thing and it is so frustrating. I don't know about y'all, but like, I try to incorporate them into the stuff that I'm doing throughout my like day-to-day -day life. Like if I need help with something, I try to ask them, well, who can do this or who wants to do this or who wants to do that? and they will literally get into arguments about who does what and it's so frustrating because i feel like there's enough stuff for everybody to do and it's not it's not hard stuff or like chores or anything it's just this little simple stuff like dumping the chips into one basket or turning off the water when i run the bath water or bringing me something off the counter like it's little simple stuff and for whatever reason, they argue and bicker and go back and forth about every freaking thing. Like, I don't understand. I don't know if it's like the stage that they're in that causes them to argue about everything or what. But Lord knows, it's aggravating. It is so aggravating. I absolutely hate talking to them about them going back and forth, them hitting each other, pushing each other, or them feeling like one thing is theirs over the next. Like... Oh my God. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, these days right here make me look back on the days where I was a single mother and it makes me thank God for the people that are in my life. Oh my freaking goodness. But Lord knows, sometimes it is stressful when these kids argue, bicker and go back and forth about absolutely nothing. Like it doesn't make sense. Well, I won't say that it doesn't make sense because I'll be honest and say that I have siblings of my own and now as I'm an adult, I'm 23, I'm the oldest. Hey, stop. See what I'm talking about? It's always something. He just said, stop looking at me. Like, why are y'all beefing about one looking at the other? What the hell? <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, you guys, um, I have siblings of my own. I'm the oldest. Everyone else is younger than me. And to say the least, now that I'm an adult, I'm just now starting to like get along with them, interact with them, like learn who they are for their own person rather than who I saw them for as a child. And I'll be completely real and honest here and say that when I was a child and I was younger, I held a lot of like resentment towards my siblings because i would feel like my parents and aunts uncles cousins i felt like everybody treated them one way and me another and like that infuriated the hell out of me and that made me feel some type of way towards them which in reality oh i put way too much in there let me take some of this out in reality my anger was never towards my siblings the anger was towards the adults that were doing some of the stuff that they did. But obviously, I was too young to know this. I was too young to realize this. And so it caused a lot of like different issues and stuff like that. But to say the least, I'm so glad for adulthood. I'm so thankful, so blessed to be in this adulthood stage and to finally be at the point where like... I'm learning who my siblings are. I'm learning why I felt the way I did when I was younger and all this different stuff. And like, yeah, I I'm just thankful for where I am today compared to back then. Because I'll be real and say back then I couldn't stand 
my siblings. Couldn't stand them. So that's probably what my kids are experiencing right now. And not necessarily the resentment part because I treat my kids all the same. I don't do that favoritism bullshit. Like that is something that I've cut people off out of our lives because I felt like they were doing that favoritism thing. So I don't do that at all. But I will say, I think that they have this thing where it's like sibling rivalry, where they try to like one up each other or like this sibling over that sibling type of thing. And I think that they really like get into it because of that. And on top of the fact that they're all boys, like that just makes it even harder. Nonetheless, I, I'm dealing with sibling beef right now and it is stressful. <laughs> and I'll be honest and say, I don't know if any of the people who are like in my day-to-day -day life, like as far as my um, family members or the, the people that are here for me and the boys, I don't know if any of them watch my channel. But if y'all do, thank y'all. Oh my fucking God, thank y'all. Because if it was not for y'all, I would probably be a bitch in distress 24-7. 24-7. <laughs> but i'm not um i won't say that there's not days that i'm not stressed because there definitely is but there's a lot more good days than there are bad days because of the simple fact that i do have an amazing support system so yeah definitely i'm so grateful for the people who like are a part of my kids lives they are amazing but yeah i just wanted to give you all an update of what i'm doing um the clothes that I do have folded up that are dry, I'm about to go ahead and put them away. We're also in the middle of bath time and I'm trying to do this thing where I let the boys wash themselves. The boys are seven, six, and five and for the most part, I still wash them. I still give them baths. I, I just don't want them to be stink or funky or sticky or anything else. And right now I'm at the point where I'm trying to allow them to wash themselves because they do say well mommy I want to wash myself or mommy I can do it myself and I try to like respect how they feel so yeah I'm trying to let them wash themselves that's why I'm not over there right now I I'm still listening obviously I make them keep the bath door open completely like 100% open so that I can hear them if anything goes wrong but they want to wash themselves and so I'm allowing them to wash themselves and I don't know how I feel about it, but yeah, it's happening. So while they're doing that, I'm going to be putting the clothes away and probably doing a little bit of picking up just little random stuff around the house. I, I hear two of them going back and forth. That's why I just had to like look away for a second. Oh my God. <laughs> this is ridiculous. They literally go back and forth about nothing. Like what the hell? If you're a mom or a dad who's like the main parent, please comment below and let me know that I'm not going through the same thing. Like, I, I can't be the only parent that's going through this. <laughs> and I'm laughing because some of the stuff that they go through is just like ridiculous. I, I don't understand some of the stuff that they go through. Like, I remember going back and forth with my siblings, but it wasn't about nothing. Like they would do stuff to piss me off and i would go off on them or vice versa i would do something to them and it would piss them off but my kids seem to go back and forth about nothing and i don't know if it's because they're so close in age or what but girl i'm about to get off here um after i put the clothes and stuff away i plan on taking them to dinner because there's a hurricane supposedly coming tomorrow and they have canceled school um tomorrow's thursday by the way and then the following day after that is Friday, which is Veterans Day. So there's no school on that day either. Um, so yeah, I figured we would go do a dinner day tonight. Just me and the boys. Game day tomorrow all day while it's supposedly supposed to be raining. And then on Friday, the boys want to go pick out some flowers and a little gift for my Auntie Angel. She's been in the army for as long as I can freaking remember. So yeah, um, that's what our next couple days are going to be looking like so obviously if we go to dinner i'll take you guys along with us but if we don't then it is what it is um the only way we won't is if it starts pouring raining out of nowhere but it's just kind of gloomy outside it's been gloomy all day long so i don't think it's gonna rain i'm from florida born and raised literally been here all 23 years of my life and a little bit of rain isn't gonna stop us from anything like i we're gonna go out to eat so i'll see y'all later okay yeah. we're out at dinner guys you want to say hi to the boys hi guys hi guys mommy i know how to make a team good job oh like the heart and clock
around. Well, you drink all your drink, that'll be on you. And I'm not drinking all mine. I know. I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. Kyle has a jacket on. Can you help me open this? Please. Doesn't matter. We just went to the But now you're gonna do that. Make sure you eat your pizza. Down. If you don't want it, I can. I'll, I'll get it. Um, LJ. Just four pieces. I don't care. I'll still eat. Hey y'all. So right now I'm in the Marshalls parking lot. The boys are with me, and we're about to go in here. So right now I'm in the Marshalls parking lot. The boys are with me, and we're about to go in here. I have a list of things that I have to grab. I have a list of things that I have to grab and yeah, so let's just go. I didn't vlog a thing for y'all while we were out. Uh, it was busy out today. I thought that being today was Veterans Day, like people would be inside chilling or barbecuing or something, but the, the girls were out. Ooh. But um, I got a few bags of things. We went to a few different stores. I still have one more store to go to, but the store I'm going to is literally to get my auntie some flowers because she is an army veteran. She is OG. <laughs> and then my Nana, she wants some ice cream. Um, the boys are gonna go over there with her tonight and she wanted me to bring her some ice cream. So yeah, but when we get home, I'll show you all the stuff that I got. LJ, he picked out something that he earned. So um, if he wants to show you guys, I'll let him. If not, then he won't. But yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys when I get home. I'm literally sitting in traffic right now because university is always hella freaking busy, like way beyond busy. So I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm behind the camera. LJ wants to show his things. I have a football. You gotta show them. You gotta show them the football. I have a foot. I have a football, a book, and a Black Panther motion control car. Because we're gonna see the Black Panther movie, and I got a Baco gun. Ooh, nice. That all? Um, no. Um, if you want these things, you have to go to. Five below. <laughs> Anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we got to come out back. Uh, it's definitely in front of the wheel right here. That doesn't matter. We got to come out back. <laughs> it's pink too and it's real cute. I'm still getting used to it because I just put it on. But yeah, I'm going to drop the boys off and also take my auntie her card and talk to y'all later. Oh yeah, I took the stuff out that I got from the store already, but when I come back home, I will show you guys everything. I got caught up with TikTok. I ain't even gonna lie. But I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry for the weird angle, but this is the best we're getting right now. I'm just gonna go through this really quick because I'm still trying to get dressed so that I can like leave the house. So I'm gonna talk through this quickly and I'm not gonna name where I got everything because I already took the stuff out of the bag. If you want to see directly where I got everything, go to my TikTok because I did the initial showing of all the stuff on there. So first is this phone case, super, super pretty, and it has these little sparkles on it. Then I got this notebook to journal some things that I have planned for myself. A makeup bag because I do my makeup on that side of the house, but I really want to be able to pack my makeup up and take it in the room with me when I finish rather than leaving it over there because I just have the feeling that the boys are going to get into it and like mess it up one day. So yeah to avoid all that i am going to be packing my makeup up then i got a cologne for the boys because they're growing up to be little men and i want them to you know always smell good then i got perfume for myself it is called chai eclair it smells really really good then i got a two-piece sleep set it's really just shorts and a little spaghetti strap tank top really really simple i don't know if this gives christmas vibes or what because of the like Plaid, but I think of red when I think of Christmas, so I don't think so. Then I got these fuzzy slippers because I need new house slippers. Some long pajama pants that are cheetah print. These are super, super cute. I wish I had a top to match it, but I'm probably gonna just wear it with like a black spaghetti strap to make it very simple. A Looney Tunes graphic tee. Real cute, and I love the color pink that it's in. 
then this shirt that says oh fudge it's supposed to be holiday themed i i don't really get it but it's black and white so i got it and then this juicy nightgown really really cute and i like the texture of it as well it's really soft and if y'all notice this matches my phone case really well then i got each of the boys a pajama set so this is one this is another and this is another they picked them out themselves and all three of them are christmas themed and before anybody says it like i said before they don't have any thanksgiving themed stuff so we skipped right over christmas then i got some bras one of each color super simple and lastly some claw clips it already looks open because i used this one earlier today because it got hot and that is it now i'm about to go and shower and then get dressed so i'll talk to you guys later Okay, I'm here. I ended up at Texas Bill House. I don't know if you guys can hear because it's loud. But... I got food. This is my favorite. I got bread. And then I haven't ordered yet. So I'll probably show y'all what I ordered. Y'all probably can't even hear me. Another potato and salad. And then I'm editing while I eat. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the car. I had a really good time by myself, enjoying my own company, doing a little bit of people watching, um, listening, doing my own little thing, editing, and just being by myself. If you're somebody who has high anxiety, I definitely recommend you go out to eat by yourself and just start doing things by yourself. Um, I used to be someone who could not do anything by myself. And now I'm at the point where I can do pretty much everything by myself and it actually feels great by the way excuse my stuffy nose it was freezing cold in there and now i've went to blow my nose inside the bathroom and i just sound super clogged and i don't like that but i enjoyed myself i did not finish my food as you can see from the previous clip i think i had a previous clip if i didn't well whatever i did not finish all my food I finished the entire potato, which I had to force myself to even finish. I did not take a bite of the salad. And then the drink, I had to force myself to finish that because I feel like if I pay for a drink, I'm finishing the drink. Like, there's no way I'm leaving half the drink there, a quarter of the drink there, whatever. I'm finishing the entire drink, period. So yeah, that being said, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go home right now or if I want to go to like a little bar or something because the drink wasn't that strong. Like the drink was kind of weak if I'm being real. She asked if I wanted a, what do they call it? A kicker? A topper? Kicker? Whatever. It was a little shot, an extra shot. And she was asking if I wanted that. And I said, no, I don't want it. I'll be okay. Thinking that it was going to be some strong drink, but that wasn't the case it was not strong at all i don't feel tipsy i don't feel good i don't feel nothing nothing um only thing i feel is my damn stuffy nose from it being so damn cold in there but yeah nonetheless i i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to just go home and go to sleep and just call it a night or if i want to go to one of the little bars in the area and grab me a couple of shots. Maybe either lemon drops or green tea. Green tea shots are better than lemon drops to me. Yeah, green tea shots are most definitely better. Lemon drops give me heartburn. Like, they're not bad, but I don't like getting heartburn after I have a drink. And with lemon drops, I get heartburn every single time. But with green tea shots, I don't. But yeah, I feel like I'm talking a lot. I want to go ahead and I want to go ahead and get out of this parking lot because that's how people get snatched the hell up, even though all my doors are locked, but I don't want to get snatched the hell up. I don't want to have to hurt anybody because they try to snatch me because baby, you're going to be the one hurting, not me. <laughs> all right, y'all. I will see y'all later. Hey, y'all. So update. I brung my ass the fuck home. I got all the way to the bar, all the way to realize that I didn't want to go in there. And truth be told, I had every intention to. And then I got there. I sat in the parking lot for like 15 minutes. 
maybe even 20 and did not go in there so i guess me going i guess me going out to eat was all i really needed to be honest so now i'm about to go shower and get my ass in the bed yeah i'm about to go to sleep and i will talk to y'all tomorrow hey y'all so i'm about to go ahead and just end the vlog right here thank you for tuning into this video if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by and if you're an older subscriber thank you for sticking by me in my little journey here i will see you guys in my next video